You buy cheap, you buy twice. While not always the case, it is very often correct. For me, it has been the case in more scenarios that I'm comfortable admitting. And in this video, I'm going to be touching on a couple of those scenarios so that you don't make the same mistakes I did. The first one, my PC build. I've upgraded some parts over time, but the initial build was a complete mess in my opinion. I bought an underpowered GPU, I bought a cooler I did not need, I bought more fans than I thought I needed, and it all came down to the fact that I was in a budget. I bought the cheapest parts I could find for each of the categories, the cheapest proper GPU, cheapest proper motherboard and so on. But had I planned my build more carefully, I would have walked away with a much better PC from the get-go. For any new builder, I would highly encourage you to use PC Part Picker so you can check the prices on each of the parts you're buying and put at least 50% of your total budget towards the GPU, especially if you're planning to game on your PC. And don't be me, don't buy the cheapest case you can find because in the end you're gonna regret it, it's gonna be an eyesore if it's an ugly case and you're going to need good airflow, just buy a decent case that has good airflow and that looks good to you. It's probably the last part you're gonna wanna upgrade, it is indeed the last part I'm planning to upgrade for now. The next mistake will very much in line with my initial PC build and it's the fact that I bought a 60Hz 1080p monitor. This basically meant that I couldn't take advantage of variable high refresh gaming which is arguably one of the most significant visual aspects of gaming on PC. And it's not like it would have cost me a fortune to buy a high refresh monitor. I could have just spent a little more like $50 to $80 more and I would have walked away with a decent 1080p 144Hz monitor, which is by the way the one you're seeing here now. It was a waste of money because I just ended up buying this same monitor you're seeing here a few months later and I ended up spending more money than I originally planned. It was not in my plans to buy a second monitor even though that 60Hz panel graduated to be a secondary screen which was helpful but my original plan was just to have a single monitor. In fact, I even took that monitor away after using two screens because I did not feel comfortable having the two monitors side by side. So yeah, just don't buy a 60 Hertz monitor unless you are actually planning to use it as a secondary screen. In that case, yeah, it's, it would be a waste of money to buy a high refresh monitor to just have a chat open, although it would look cool. High refresh looks cool even on text. The third mistake was buying cheap office peripherals. I remember buying a, like a $30 combo of a full-size chiclet keyboard with an office mouse from Microsoft. I think we're seeing a trend here. I remember buying this because I just wanted to get my foot on the door when it came to PC gaming. And I said, you know what? This will get me going, this will be fine. And that combo was okay for the office, working from home, but for gaming, not at all. This was another thing that I ended up replacing a couple of months later with a mechanical gaming keyboard that cost me like a hundred bucks and a gaming lightweight mouse that cost me like $70 or so. So again, I was short of $30 that could have gone towards those purchases instead. And uh, that keyboard and mouse ended up going to waste anyways. And you would say, yeah, they did their job at getting me at the front door for gaming. I was able to game on them. It was just extremely uncomfortable to do so. The fourth mistake I did was buying a very cheap and small desk. I remember I was putting together my setup uh, for the very first time. I was very excited. I was going to work from home and I was building my PC and I said, Again, you know what? I'm going to buy the most affordable desk I can because I just want to get this going. And oh boy, that was a mistake as well. I bought this IKEA Limnon tabletop that had like a blue top with some texture on it. It was super weird. I don't think they make that anymore. But it was extremely cheap. It cost me like, I don't know, $20, something like that. And it, again, it did its job. It was able to hold everything together it was just extremely flimsy it started to come apart a couple of months later 
um, it was sagging at the very middle with the weight of the monitors and it was like very small as well it was like 47 by 24 inches it could barely hold anything together and again at the time i thought that was enough because you know they don't have a lot going on like this but i was not thinking that i was going to get more stuff in the future i just said it's going to hold my pc my monitor my keyboard and mouse and that's it that's enough i'm good with that that's not always the case. You always end up upgrading stuff in your setup. And that's really the very last thing you wanna upgrade because it is a hassle to break down a setup and change your desk. You're looking at taking your monitors away, redoing your cable management if you did any cable management at all. If you can avoid it, just get the desk you want. And if you can afford to spend just a little more to get a better one, go for the better one. You are not going to regret getting a good desk for your setup. As you can see, I bought all this cheap gear to allow me to start working from home and gaming on my PC. And it really got me there. I was able to start playing some games. I was eager to start playing. I was able to start working from the comfort of my home. And for that experience alone, I don't particularly regret it. But I ended up replacing most of this stuff anyways. And the majority of it just ended up going to waste. I would have saved more money just getting the stuff I wanted from the get-go. If I was starting from scratch, I would have definitely appreciated knowing all this. But if you already made some of these mistakes and you want to correct them, I have a video right here where I go over the things I would consider upgrading first in a setup. I'll see you there.